Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, so, hi, 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 Andy. Hello. Andy, hi. thanks for coming and supporting us and co hosting. Yeah. Are you going to do live on Facebook as well? No, no, this is just a recording. Yeah, on Zoom. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. I still haven't, I'm not very comfortable with um, doing a Facebook Live because I'm on my on my laptop right now, so I can't really see the Facebook response. So that's tricky. Yeah, so today we're going to talk, we talk about Ningxia Red, right? And we, before we start recording, we were asking Angie about the red drink that she swears by. Can you tell us more about the red drink, Angie? So the red drink is invented by Dr. Minky, and he's been with Young Living for over 20 years. Um, the red drink, basically you just put, uh, I, I don't have it with me. So you just put one pack of Ninja Red, which, which um, I think he said is about six ounces, right? Or, or two ounces. 60 ml? Yeah, oh, 60 wow. ml. 60 ml of Ninja Red, you just put one pack in a, a bottle of filtered water. So you can just basically use your Ninja Red bottle, your empty Ninja Red bottle, wash it. Because uh, this is a very, very thick glass bottle and I use it a lot to put water in for myself. So we need to drink a lot of water and uh, water, it basically helps us to detox our body. So you put, uh, top it up, top it up until till like here and then you pour one pack of Ninjaret in it. I put normally put um, four teaspoons of sulfur sign powder in it, and then three drops of lime essential oils. And the reason why we put the um, sulfur sign powder, because it's good for our hair growth, it's good for our skin, and it helps us to do liver detox as well. And I have severe eczema for my skin. So when I drink this red drink, it really helps me to soothe my skin because this does the liver detox as well as like consuming Juvatom as well. So this is a red drink. Mm -hmm. And I heard that the lime essential oil also is, because uh, I was watching Dr. Minky's video. He made this video, like a nine minute video to talk uh -huh. about this red drink, right? And he was talking about how the lime essential oil is quite special because it helps with, um, the, he talked about it, it because of how, how high D-limonin content it has and it helps with the liver and then it helps with like antioxidant and stuff like that. Yes, it, it does. The, the antioxidant actually comes in from the ninja red oh. uh, because the ninja red is, really really high antioxidant and mm. then the lime what the lime does is the the d lemon d lemon in it and which let me just uh, take it out so it, the, the lime what it does is high in vitamin c so vitamin C, the D lemon is high in vitamin C. The vitamin C, what it does for us, it boosts us, boosts our immune system, as well as help us to liquefy the mucus in our lung. So every day our lung, what, uh, what I what I talked about this morning is every day our lung produces two liter of mucus every day. And you couldn't imagine that. And because of the um, gravity, it actually pulls us our mucus up the throat. And while I was doing the live this morning, my throat really got stuck. And after drinking the red drink in it, because the red drink has higher antioxidant and also polysaccharide in it. So it smooths our, our mucus and drinking a lot of water as well as Taking vitamin C, it's very vital for this current, like the current pandemic situation, because you don't want any infection in our lung. And with this fluid that we drink every day, it really helps to dilute the mucus in our lung. And also the lime, what it does, because it's cold pressed and distilled from the rind, so they are not like you, it will eat your animal, was it? Animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah animal of, animal. Mm -hmm. of, of your tea, as well as supporting our emotional, it gives an uplifting for our emotions. 
and helps to support and strengthen the respiratory system and our immune system. And it helps with the lymphatic system as well and do the in internal cleansing for us. And also the lime is rich in antioxidant and do the liver support for us. Oh, wow, That's, that sounds pretty amazing. And the sulfur lime, I believe it also helps with detoxing the liver, right? And uh, I remember Dr. Minky said the, the sulfur lime added into the Ningxia Red helps with the um, cell methylation which is um, re regenerating the cells and, re and helping the body detox and also uh, the nervous system. I remember he mentioned something like that. Yeah, yeah he, said, he said like the sulfonzyme has glutathione in it and it, it actually helps our body uses to detoxify. And because when during the detoxifying process, our body uses a lot of sulfur and sulfur is very rich in the sulfur side. So it helps us to remove our body heavy, heavy metal like lead, mercury. And um, it also helps our body to get rid of a lot of toxins. So in, in other words, like when we are very exposed to a lot of chemical plastics and gasoline pesticides, pharmaceutical drugs these days, Using the software as a pathway to help us to clean our body system, it's very, very good because it's not just MSM, the sulfazine, it's not just MSM. It has a lot of roof berry powder in it. And when we're constantly taking the sulfur, it helps our body to detoxify. And at the same time, it also like help us to pull the mineral, it helps us to like pull the mineral out, but at the same time, adding minerals back. Because when we, when, when we detox, we, not only we only detox the toxin out of the body, we also detox minerals out of our body. But taking this sulfur and it helps us to, we supplement, we supplement ourselves, like we supply ourselves with a lot of minerals in it. Well, that makes sense. And also, I remember that sulfur sign powder also has prebiotic. Yes. It also has prebiotic, so it's our gut health too, right? Yeah. So the prebiotic yeah. is sort of like a food to the probiotic, the good bacteria in our gut. And, yes, and, and what, what... And when Dr. Mainke mentioned that um, during our detox process, some, he, he takes about six capsules of sulfazine five times a day, which is a total of 30 sulfazine. And then average adults, they need at least four capsules a day to get a break even uh, for toxicity level. And taking four or less, you won't experience too much of benefit. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Can okay. you guys talk about sulfurzyme? What is sulfurzyme? What exactly is it? Do I'll, we I'll, let, I'll let Joanne talk about sulfurzyme. Okay. Sulfurzyme is a supplement that we have. It's most, uh, it's actually basically MSM. I take the capsule. The capsule is MSM and wolfberry extract. And then, uh, whereas we also have a sulfurzyme powder, it's in powder form. The powder has uh, MSM and uh, prebiotic. Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. Like she, so Angie is showing us the powder and the capsules. So the powder has prebiotic and also with very extract. Uh, so what we use it for, usually MSM is a very good for supplying the nutrients, the sofa to our hair, skin, nails, and bones and joints. Um, according to Dr. McCola, who is a really good, uh, a natural path, he says that everybody needs sulfurzyme, like MSM in our body. And it's very safe for our body to intake because we're using it every day to detox. It also, MSM also helps our liver make glutathione, which is a very important antioxidant. And it also helps us de de detox our liver. In fact, now recently, there's a lot of talking about this uh, supplement to help our immune system. It's called the it actually helps to make the, our body make glutathione. It's actually a glutathione supplement that in the marketplace, people are talking about it. But studies have shown that if our body can make glutathione ourselves, by ourselves in the liver, our body can actually use it better than supplementing glutathione, if you, if you understand what I mean. So by taking the MSM and the essential oil with D-lemonin, it will help our body create glutathione 
to help with the detox and the immune system. So that's really important. And we've also had a lot of people who always take MSM uh, every day, the sulfurzyme supplement to help with the joints, the, the finger joints, the knee joints, or the wrist joint, because especially now we are always on the phone, on the computer, a lot of people are having like joint issues. Um, so that also helps supplement the cartilage and the soft tissues between the joints. So it's really important. And Dr. McCullough actually said that everybody needs at least, if I remember correctly, it uh, calculates to nine to 15 capsules of the Selvazine capsules per day in order to have enough for every day to our body to use uh, on a daily basis. So as Angie was saying, uh, the bottle instruction is four capsules a day, which barely is enough to supplement what we are using every day. So in fact, we should at least double the bottle instructions. Uh, actually, the Selvazine capsules, in each capsule is 300 capsules. And each bottle is actually one month supply, meaning that we should be taking 10 capsules a day. So we usually tell people to break it up into like three in the morning, three at night, and three in the afternoon. And Angie was mentioning that Dr. Minky, who's a, a, a naturopath, I think, uh, that he takes 12 a day, right? So he takes three times four capsules a day. Yeah. So, so that's about the MSM, the Sulfurzyme supplement that we have in Young Living. Oh, and uh, sorry, sorry, Joanne. Um, yeah, sorry, go on. You finish first. Yeah, it's okay. Ask oh, I was saying a lot of people question me when I tell them that they should take more than the bottle. Then they mm -hmm. say, But why does the bottle say that? You know, so oh, that's know what, you know, Young Living knows what they're doing. So, what makes you decide that it should be more? Okay, you know, so that's, that's that a very good. Is, and sometimes I, I feel, Yeah, how come we're, we're upping the dose by okay. Because mm, there's actually no standard for taking supplementation. The re most recent uh, label requirement is the recommended daily <clears throat> value, which is usually printed on the label for vitamin A, B, C, D, and E, and K, right? But that actually was from, 19, from the 80s, so it has not been updated. And uh, the recommended daily value, actually, it's only for people who are very healthy and they have, like, they're very healthy and they're supplementing. But most of us, because of how our food is being grown and how our food is um, uh, being harvested and how, whether it is fresh or not, it also affects how much nutrition there is in the food. Well, that's actually another topic for another day, which I've actually talked about in the supplement workshop that I taught. Is so that's why in the in the bottle on the label, the recommended value is actually only for people who have absolutely no health issues, that they do not, they're at their optimal, which is yeah. probably somebody in the twenty in the mid twenties. Because as we move on older than 30, our body starts to lose nutrients and not being able to hold on to the nutrients. One of them is calcium, the other one is collagen, which is all proven and scientifically, all the doctors know about this. So anybody who's over the age of 30, when they are supplementing, they need to take probably double the dose or at least minimum is the bottle recommendation. And for people who are having health issues, they will need more. It's sort of like Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, you likes to use um, the analogy of having a savings account. So as we grow older, so babies, they actually, most babies, we would imagine that they're born with a reserve of nutrients, right? However, it actually depends on the parents. If the parents do not have enough nutrients and they're not healthy, then the baby actually do not have enough nutrients, right? So considering that the baby uh, grow up in a perfect environment where the, the diet is perfect, the, the food and vegetables that they eat are very nutritious, they grow it in the backyard, organically grown, then the baby will grow up having enough nutrients in the body. However, most people do not grow up in an environment like that. And especially in the big city like ours, when we go to the supermarket and buy the fruits and vegetables, it's been already been sitting in, on the shelf for a few days already, right? Or one or two days. Right. 
then actually all vitamins and minerals start depleting as soon as it's being harvested. So with that, with the food that we eat every day, there's not, it's not enough to replenish what we need. And as we age, we start losing more of it and we have to use it on a daily basis. So usually after 30 years old, we recommend people starting supplementing. After 40, it's very obvious. And for me, personally, my experience is I started supplementing when I was uh, in, my, in my teens. And uh, I started really supplementing after I turned 30. Sorry, I went off topic here. Your question was, why do we have to take double or triple the bottle instructions, right? So to go back to that, yeah. because of how depleted our food reserve is and how depleted our body is on the nutrient side, that's why we have to take more than what is recommended on the bottle. What is recommended on the bottle is somebody who is at their optimal health level, which is usually around the when they're in the mid twenties. Okay. Love that answer your question. Yeah, yeah, and then there's another question that was asked by my friend yesterday. She said that um, she was told by a friend that you, if you take ningxia, and if you take um, sulfurzyme and omega dyes, mm -hmm. all three, and it's like a powerhouse. Ah. Yeah. So she sent me an infographic on, uh, mm -hmm. on that. Um, I'll tell you, it, it's by a doctor who suggested it. Um, so I, I am not familiar with that. And it's uh, Dr. Ronald Lawrence. Oh, yes. PhD author and associate professor at UCLA. Yes. And he said, Young Living has the best research products I have seen in the, in the alternative, health, alternative health industry. They work better than when taken together, all three of them. It's a powerful combination. He's written that. Yes. So, um, yeah, I think she or he, I'm not sure. He, he, Dr. Ronald Lawrence, he's quite a very well-respected doctor. He also wrote the book uh, on MSM. He actually researched on like emotional health and mental health and, and supplementation also. And he's an MD in the US. Uh, he, he, he is correct. So that's why we talk about the red drink just now, which is the MSM and the silver uh, with MSM, the silver sign, together with the Ningxia Red. And with the omega gyes, because the omega gyes, this omega gyes is actually a fish oil supplement that Young Living has. And the reason why it's better than what is normally sold on the market is, is because fish oil can, it can go rancid very easily. And uh, when it goes rancid, it means that it's oxidized. Fish oil actually oxidizes very easily. And what Young Living does is we put clove essential oil in the omega gyes and clove essential oil is actually the highest and has the highest antioxidant level in all things natural came from natural source like it has this highest antioxidant natural in the natural source so that's why Gary Young designed the omega gyes and put clove essential oil in it to help us to to stop it from oxidizing and with that clove essential oil, we notice that when we take it, it also helps our body reduce inflammation and it also acts as an antioxidant. That's probably why when uh, Dr. Ron no, Lawrence mentioned about the omega gyes and the ningxia red and the silverzyme is because it's an all-well-rounded antioxidant. It's good for the skin, it's good for the brain, because fish oil is known to be good for the brain. MSM is good for detox, for the liver for all our joints and hair, as we said. And then Ning Shorewet, which is an amazing superfood because the Ning Shorewet is actually not a juice, but it's made from the puree of wolfberries. So since we're at this, let me um, start with the presentation because I've actually prepared a presentation to show the nutrients of Ning Shorewet uh, so that it's easier for the audience to remember because for me, I'm a visual person it's much easier for me to uh, remember yeah. when I can see. When Joanne, I can see. Before you yes. start, can I just uh, yeah. say what he, just quote him? What yeah, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. It says, it is any wonder that people who have tried multiple brands of MSM are pleasantly surprised when trying sulfurzyme and, and report that it has worked wonders for them. In my opinion, taking sulfurzyme with Ningxia Red is a marriage made in heaven. And this he's referring to Young Living products, right? And yeah. when he says take it together, does he mean literally while you're drinking, you take that? Or does he mean that in your re daily regimen, that it is part of your regimen? 
it seems like from what Angie said just now, the red drink with the Ningxia Red plus the Selvazine powder actually seems to work much better than just taking the Ningxia Red and the MSM and, and the Selvazine capsule, because that's actually what I have been doing for, I think, eight years, uh, drinking Ningxia Red and then taking my Selvazine with it. Oh, um, okay. yeah. I I'm think the really capsule in the morning and in the night and then I drink the Ningxia during the day. So you think it's better to combine it? Yes, I actually drink everything in the morning. And uh, even with, from what I've seen with and the result with Angie and Noel, which is one of our other friends, I've seen quite amazing results from their skin on the Ningxia Red and the Silver Slime to put together. And this red drink is actually very popular because Dr. Minky is an educator in uh, the Young Living community and he promotes this widely. So I think if you can get your hands on some silver sign powder, which we can all order from the US, I think we should give it a give it a try. You know, put it oh. in a bottle, because we all have empty Ningxiaret bottles, and put it in a in a 750 ml bottle, a one liter ml bottle, and give it a go. Try it and then compare, right? I think actually I'm gonna start to trying that too. Because my I friend, have my drug mule is meeting me in June in 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 uh, Thailand. My daughter and son-in-law they're coming from the states so hi trishna they can, they can be uh they can be ready for a list of sulfur and all sorts of things coming <laughs> yeah I'm so the the reason nice to why, you guys. yeah so the reason why dr minky has invented this um red drink is because we all need water and we all need good circulations and and when we don't have enough of this then um, it creates a lot of um, overall health and wellness issues in our body. Because many people wake up with achy, foggy, and no energy to sustain in the day. And our body feels tired and our muscle feels tired. And one of the main reasons is being we are, we, we're being dehydrated. Um, and this juice not actually help us to dehydrate uh, to hydrate ourselves, but as well as like giving nutrients into our body. And one of the things that um, you asked about lime, it's three drops of lime equals to 150 milligrams of bioflavonoids. So there's oh, sorry. 50, 50 mg of bioflavonoids in our in the in the lime lime uh, lime lime essential oils. Mm, yes, yes, bioflavonoid. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, he was talking about that too. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. wonderful. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you go into your presentation, sorry, Joanne. No problem. There's another question that a, a client of mine has recently been very concerned about sugar in Ningxia. She said it's so sweet. That she's afraid of putting on weight is is that true or is that is that really sugar or is that natural tasting um can you tell us more about that okay first of all the we've i'm going to show you in a bit that they've done some stuff done some done some studies on ning, drinking ning charette and weight management and they found that actually angie has a testimonial they've found out that um discovered that if you drink three packs of ning charette every every two hours, right? Like 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 2 p.m. After one week, you actually lose weight. Yay, I will do that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. yeah, and they've done they've done some studies on it. They've had people try and people have actually lose, lost weight, uh, shed some pounds because of how it is getting rid of the toxins. And the sugar is actually uh, from the juice and it's also from sweetened by stevia. So it, it won't raise blood sugar, which I'll also show you some studies that they have tried. It will not raise blood sugar. And um, if we actually, I have heard some people who, when they first just started taking drinking Ninja Red, their blood sugar shot up. And usually these are the people who already have blood sugar issues. And we find that it is the body trying to adjust. Usually when we ask them to start diluting the Ninja Red and drinking it like highly diluted, they don't have that problem anymore. And because um, when the body cannot adjust its blood sugar level, it actually means that the body is fighting some sort of inflammation. And when the body adjusts, sometimes the numbers goes off chart a little bit and it's quite normal. But once we dilute it with uh, water, 
it seems to have no no more side effects. Mm -hmm. And I've seen quite a few testimonials on people who's having diabetes and having Ninjaret for a period of time, they their sugar, blood sugar level actually went down and their result is actually improving and got much better. Yes, yes. I, I also have friends who have that experience. Mm -hmm. Well, I have a hypoglycemia, which is my body crashes, the sugar crashes, not high sugar. So it's also sort of borderline diabetic. Mm -hmm. but remember, uh, I, I was afraid to take Ningxia because I thought it would shoot up my blood sugar. And um, as a test, what I did is I, I made this drink and I drank it on a day. I drank it on a dr day when I was fasting at three in the afternoon. So when you're really like, <laughs> haven't had anything all day. And I, I was prepared for my crash to come or some untoward happening, but nothing happened. So I also take it on the day when I'm fasting. It's because the ninja red actually has polysaccharides in it. And when we have polysaccharide protection, the bad um, short circuit communications, it, it will be cut. And it actually improves our, um, what, what's it called? Um, it actually helps, it lets you, because the polysaccharide, we don't have that protection. It leads to a various of health problems like weak immune obesity and diabetes, but with the polysaccharide in the ninja red, it actually doesn't create that problem for you. And it stops, it even, even, even will improve and stop that problem issues going forward. Wow, that's okay. fascinating, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's we don't have any problem with people who have blood sugar uh, problems. In fact, I think, what we have actually heard is a lot of people who have low blood sugar or high blood sugar or diabetic, they seem to taper off after a prolonged period of time. I mean, it's no magic, right? But after drinking it for one year or two years, because this is, it has become a habit for the people who drink Ning Charette every day, one or two years later, they have their body check and the doctors are like, give them all green lights, they're all good. So that's really, really encouraging to, to hear. And uh, this is regardless of how old these people are. Like it's not because they're younger or older, even old or elderly have really good results with their blood sugar levels with the prolonged continuous drinking of Ning Red every day. Yeah. And I, and, I, and I was like watching Gary Young's video this morning. What I found it very fascinating was um, the Ninja prophets. It's actually next to the Himalaya mountain. So why the goji berry it gives us so much nutrient? It's because the it's watered by the Himalaya mountain snow water. So the water consists of a lot of minerals in it. And because it's flowing down the river next to the Ninja province, and they're taking that water to water the goji berry. That's why the goji berry has a lot of minerals as well as nutrients in it. I see. So yes. All I can say for that is Jay Hin. It's got to be Indian. It's from the Indian. <laughs> all right. Yes. Anything and Indian is wonderful. I, I have to agree. And, and also, because the Ningxia province, actually, our the Ningxia farm. It's actually on the bank of the Yellow River, where the soil is extra nutrient nutrients. So the, that's why, in fact, there's so many wolfberries in the world. Only the ones that are grown in the Ningxia province is considered as superfood by the FDA. All the other wolfberries or goji berries are not considered superfood. So not all goji berries are made equal. Oh. Only the one that are from Ningxia province in China are the best. And they are actually much bigger than regular wolfberries. Yes. And another amazing thing with young with uh, Ningxia red is because, you know how as Chinese, we always, and, and with you living here in Hong Kong, we always see the dried wolfberries on the market or when we're cooking, right? But those are dried wolfberries because wolfberries, if you harvest them, they go black very easily. And once it's crushed or bruised, 
it goes black and then you can't use it. That's why for wolfberries, they all harvest it and then they have to dry it right away. Whereas the Ningxia wolfberry, Ningxia juice is actually made from fresh pureed wolfberries. So once it's harvested, it's immediately pureed and then it's packed and then it's shipped to the US for um, adding other ingredients into it. So it is not a juice, it is a whole wolfberry puree, including the seeds and the skin. Because originally when Gary Young start, first started studying this wolfberry, he took just the juice and made the juice. It's called a Berry Young juice, oh, very okay. cheesy name. Uh, but he only took the juice, but and after drinking it for a while, he didn't find the results that he was looking for. So he started studying the seeds and the skin, and he started act actually also asking about the, asking the Chinese expert about the wolfberries. And he realized all the good stuff is actually in the seed and the skin. That's why it's the whole wolfberry puree and not just co-press the juice. And when we compare a fresh wolfberry to the dried wolfberry that we can find in the market, the nutritional value is also different. It's sort of like eating a fresh apple and eating apple, dried apple um, chips, right? Correct. So obviously the, the, the nutritionist le level is very different. So, but it's very rare that you can find fresh uh, wolfberry puree. I actually have bought some from the Ningxia province, just pure wolfberry puree. Uh -huh. um, it's not the same because I like to try out different things, but it's totally not the same. It does not have the same effect. And I think the Ningxia red, the reason why Ningxia red is so effect effective is because of the formula and other ingredients that is being put inside the, the drink itself and not just the wolfberry puree. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, so, yes, so I, if well, you're having those. Oh, I would like to uh, hear some. I'm, I'm getting sleepy, so I want to drink. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, cheers. So, cheers. Rita, what about you? Can you, is there any testimonial that you can share about uh, Ningxia Red for, from you or from Harry? Mm -hmm. I will share, but he won't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you all know that recently he's had shingles, right? Mm -hmm. he's, been, uh, he's been in a lot of pain for the last, what? He's been, he was home for almost six to seven weeks. And you remember, Joanne, you came over when he was three weeks in, he looked horrible. He looked, he couldn't eat, he couldn't drink, he couldn't sleep, he couldn't stand, he couldn't sit. It, it was, it's a horrible thing, you know, uh, this shingles. And really he was looking not so good, right? You came over, you saw him and you said, Harry, you've lost a lot of weight. And um, why don't you, are you drinking your Ning Sha, right? And, and he said, no, uh, I don't need it. And she, you go, you need it. If you're not going to take it, I'm going to make it for you right now. And uh, so he started it. And I swear to you, within four or five days, I saw his color change. Because even, even going back a year or two, his, his fingers are like icicles. And before, when we were younger, I used to be always cold. And I was just huddled up against him when I'm cold. And he's always like a heater. And lately, of late, his fingers are like icicles and very cold and his feet and it can't turn on the AC in the house because he's always cold. Even in the summer, it's like I put the AC at 23, he complains it's too cold. So I have, I, I wake up sweaty because, you know, I just can't turn on the AC high enough, low enough. But the other day, I think five or eight days into Nengsha, and he said to me, you know, I didn't sleep well because I was so hot. And I was like, <laughs> I almost fell off the bed because <laughs> like, when he's hot, it's like, it, I mean, if he's uh, feeling hot, that's a good thing for me. It's a, it's a big aha moment. And I said, it's the same. I, and you're always complaining you're cold. And he said, no, I was feeling very hot. Um, but the, the control is with me on my side of the bed. So... So we turned it down and even in the living room and every morning I wake up now, my, my first instinct, I check his fingers and it's warm. It's, it's, I mean, I wouldn't say it's hot, but it's, it's warm to the touch, like, you know, and to me, forget everything else is the biggest blessing, you know? So I, as you know, in the beginning, when I tried to drink Ning Sha, I didn't like it at all. I found it sweet. I found it because I was drinking it as you were drinking it plain from the pack and I didn't like it. I found it thick and gloopy, you know? 
but now I drink it with with uh, sparkling water and I put a few drops of lime or citrus fresh or whatever. I've even tried it with vodka. I think it's amazing. <laughs> if I'm going to have a drink, why not have a, it's like a cranberry vodka or whatever. So yeah, I, and I'm, I am so thankful. I know if he hears that, he's not going to be happy sharing his, his uh, health with the world, but I mean, if it, it's a if happy it, thing, you yeah, know, it's a good thing because if we share his experience, then maybe we can help other people who have similar issues. You know, ha cold hands and feet is very common. Mm -hmm. That's why many, many of my friends they tell me, "Oh, wow, it's quite expensive for thirty drinks." And I go, "Well, you go to Starbucks and you pay forty dollars for that crap coffee." Sorry, I shouldn't be saying that, but I mean, for coffee from Starbucks excuse me, I would rather pay 35 or, I think this drink averages out to 30 or $35 a day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. drink. Hey, yeah. I would do that any day. And if it, if it means that much health, there is no mm -hmm. debating it. Yes, yeah. it's not cheap if you round it up and buy it for the month, but if it promises you health, it keeps you healthy. We spend, we go to a bar and spend 200 on a glass of wine or whatever, you know, we, yeah. don't, we don't think about it. Yes, so it's, it's all a matter of, you know, um, perspective. Yeah. And, and I think the thing is a lot of people don't, if they haven't started drinking it yet, they don't know the value. So to them is $30 is a lot of money, right? But if they're drinking Starbucks, say, for example, and coffee, it's already proven to be acidic to the body and it's not healthy. Uh, it's a habit, right? So, so it's what everybody does. Everybody goes to Starbucks, get a coffee, get something to drink. It's normal. But when you talk about like a juice and they don't know that what the juice can do to you and they think it's just a juice, then of course it's, it's expensive. So let's go into the, the I'll share my screen. Yes. And then I can tell everybody really how, what this $30 worth of a little packet of juice can do to all of us, right? I am like, I'm struggling to uh, like share my screen now because I'm using my laptop. Oh, yay, oh, yeah. got yeah. it, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna move a little bit off the slide. Uh, there we go. Okay, all right. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, how do what? What's going on? Ah, ah, sorry. I usually, uh, as because I'm still at my uh, quarantine hotel, right? So I'm struggling a little bit for you. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay. So let me share with everybody some testimonial first. Okay. These are all true testimonials. So uh, people said that I have more energy, not to get so tired easily. And since they're not as tired, after drinking Ninja Red, they are better temper and less cranky, especially these are moms. This is actually me. <laughs> I used to be like super cranky every day at around like five because I was so tired already after taking care of my kids for the whole day. But after drinking Ninja Red, I don't. I, I don't get cranky in the afternoon. And so my temper is better. I'm much calmer. And then um, uh, I have got friends. These are all real testimonial. After drinking Ninja Red, I don't feel tired in the afternoon anymore, especially when I need to go drive or pick up my kids from school. And uh, another one, oh, actually we have a friend. She said that um, she no longer needs to use reading glasses when she's reading wow. after drinking it. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's, and it's only been a month. Yeah, I remember it's just pretty crazy. Wow. And then we've got, we've got friends who give that to their parents uh, her 85-year-old mother loves it. She said she feels her brain is more bright and less foggy. Why are all the, all the things... Oh, the shapes are a little bit off. Okay, so, <laughs> so uh, somebody, a lot of people have experienced that after drinking about three to six months, their period is coming better and uh, less PMS and more regular. And then uh, other people say that they sleep better, they are pooping better, and then the dark circle under their eye is uh, getting less dark. And then they also feel like their face is less puffy. Okay. And then another person said, actually, uh, 
is, Harry isn't the only one who feels like their hands and feet are getting not as cold. There are a lot of people. And I'll explain to you why, because actually nature is really good for the kidneys. And when our, our kidneys are weak, our hands and feet will tend to be cold very easily. And according to the Chinese Materia Medica, wolfberries actually nourishes the kidneys and the liver. And that's one of the reasons why it is so effective in keeping us our body warm. And it also helps with circulation. And then uh, a lot of people have experience saying that their bowel is much better. Uh, they're pooping better and they don't get so tired so easily. Yeah, you too. Ah, that's good. Yeah, they don't get tired so easily. So that's really good. And oh, uh, one of my friends told me that the, her eyes used to get dry and blurry towards the afternoon. And after drinking it, she doesn't have that problem anymore. And uh, one of our friends, her name is Jessica. She said her children went for the eye checkup. Her son drinks Ningxia Red every day and her daughter doesn't. The optometrist said that he, when he checked his son's eye under the eye, he said the, uh, it's much better than the last year checkup. And he said he has actually never seen the result of improving eye, the under the retina, the under eye. The, the, he, she, she, the optometrist was very surprised that the son's results report is better than the previous years when he was six. He usually can see the eye getting worse, but he has never seen it getting better over time. So, and the daughter's result remained the same. So the mother thought it must be the nature that's helping the son's eye. Um, yeah, so these are most of our uh, testimonials are more or less around subjects like this, like feeling more energetic, uh, having less dark circles, the skin feels better, the pores are smaller, and I'll explain to you why. So this was me before I drank Ning Sha Red. This was taken 2011, and I used to be sick all the time. And this is Gary Young, this is my enroller, and one of my buddies, Patricia, she lives in Singapore. This photo was taken in Singapore. And I started drinking Ning Sha Red December the 20, uh, 2011. And I feel like I'm getting younger, and um, I actually didn't know until I started studying and researching on Ning Sha Red. So what is wolfberry? So according to tra traditional Chinese medicine, the nature of wolfberry is calming and the flavor is sweet. And according to the theories, it can act on both the liver channel and the kidney channel. So, and the ma major health benefits of wolfberry, uh, its ability to nourish and tonify the liver and kidneys, improving jing, which is also means like the qi. The jing is like the energy, the basic elements that constitute the body and maintain activities and improve eye function. So other than uh, the kidney, the liver, and improving the qi and the circulation, it also gives energy, the jing, right? And then um, it is known as the superfood. It is low in sodium and very low in saturated fat and cholesterol. It is also a very good source of protein, thiamine, which is a vitamin B and calcium and a very good source of fat, dietary fiber, vitamin A, vitamin C, riboflavin, iron, potassium, zinc, copper, and selenium. And the whole of the wolfberry is used as a medicinal plant in Chinese herbs. Uh, we take the berries, and sometimes the leaves come with two because they puree it in the factory, okay? And where the Lingxia Red came from is Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, he went to China in search of the secret of longevity back in 1993. And these are photos taken in uh, the Ningxia province back, wow, this is what, 30, 20, 30 years ago. Yes, this was 30 years ago. And he was met by this old lady who is in her, past her 100 years old, and he, she's still working in the farm and did not need help to assist to walk up the stairs. And in fact, this old lady actually pushed his Gary Young's hand away and said, I can walk by myself, I don't need your help. And Gary Young was just trying to be a gentleman. And it was really, he was very impressed. And this was also a 98 year old Chinese doctor. As we're in China, as, as we're in Hong Kong, we've always seen Chinese doctors doing this, testing the body, uh, checking the pulse. 
So that's when he started studying Ning Xia Red. And then he, as I said before, he started studying it and did a, research, a lot of research. And he was also working with some Chinese uh, scientists who were uh, Ning Xia Wolfberry's experts. And so it is, uh, includes, thing, the wolfberry is a puree that includes the skin and the seeds. It is a, it's very popular in Hong Kong. These are all celebrities and TV movie stars in Hong Kong who are raving about Ning Xia Red, who they all drink Ning Xia Red. And so one of the reasons is because it's very high in antioxidant. We all know that pomegranate is very high in antioxidant. This is actually the antioxidant level of pomegranate. Comparing to wolfberry, wolfberry is three times the antioxidant level of pomegranate. So that's super. And then uh, antioxidant, what does it do? It helps um, antioxidant prevent the cell damage and may help with a number of diseases, including heart disease, uh, macular degeneration, cancer, arthritis, Parkinson's, uh, stroke. And these, I actually, this information I got from the internet about antioxidant, not necessarily on wolfberry. I have to clarify that, okay? I just wanna show what antioxidants are good for. It helps with slowing aging process. It helps with lowering cholesterol, decrease the risk of uh, some joints issues and slow down Alzheimer's. This is what antioxidant does. So I know a lot of people have heard about antioxidant and I'm not sure if you know actually what it is because a lot of, a lot of the times a free radical will come into our body and take away a oxygen. And when our cell is oxidized, then it will start dying and it will start having different issues. This is what a free radical is, like what will create a free radical? Smoking, UV rays, pollution, pesticide, which Hong Kong has a lot, and it will cause our skin to wrinkle, sagging, it will cause our skin to be dry and it will also cause uh, hyperpigmentation and it helps like guard our body, right? It prevents signs of aging, improves, improves skin, prevents sunburn, and then it's really good for our cells. So what antioxidant does is it's sort of like, I used like to use the analogy of say um, a boy and a girl, right? A boyfriend and a girlfriend. So they went to a party. So this couple went to a party and then there's this really attractive girl in the same party. So this really attractive girl goes to the boyfriend and wants to like start flirting with him. And then, so the boyfriend's girl, like, okay, let me give them some names. So pretending that Amy is going to a party with his boyfriend, Stephen, right? So, and then when they get to the party, this third girl, which is very attractive, comes and starts flirting with Stephen. Of course, Amy is gonna be very unhappy, right? She doesn't want her boyfriend to be taken away from her. So she calls up another girl, another boy that he, boy, male friend and said, hey, you know what, Jacob, why don't you come to my party? I've got this beautiful girl that I can introduce to you. So Jacob arrives at the party and start talking to this pretty girl. And so Stephen is saved, right? So, okay. Free radical is the pretty girl who's trying to talk to Steve. Jacob is the antioxidant, okay? So we have a lot of these pretty girls around us all the time, these free radicals, you know, they're trying to get our cells, they're trying to get our good stuff. And what we do is we introduce antioxidant, the Jacob into our body, so the girl cannot, the free radical cannot destroy our cells and destroy our body. So that is what, Ning Xia Red actually is, is a bottle full of Jacobs to protect ourselves, okay? So I love that analogy because it's very easy to remember. Okay, so, and then the young, so the Ning Xia Red is full of antioxidant. And the, in Japan, they also did this centenarial report and they found out that LPO stands for um, lipoperoxidation. The LPO level, the lower the level, the older the people can become, okay? So this is also an antioxidant level. If the body has very high antioxidant level, they become, they can live longer, right? So, and they actually took Ning Xia Red and they tested it. The Ning Xia Red antioxidant level is 6,280 
which is three times the regular level of a regular juice. It's pretty crazy. So what Ling Charret can do is free radicals are cause of cell death and illness and SOD, superoxide dimutase, is the key to health. So Ling Charret can help with longevity and it's also a very good antioxidant, right? Okay. In fact, a lot of the information that I got in this presentation is from this book. This book is the whole book is taught to talk about um, Ling Sha Red. It's also very high in zeaxanthin and lutein, which are important for our eyes. So we were talking about how um, antioxidant can help with macular degeneration, right? Degeneration. This is wrong spelling. <laughs> this is driving me nuts. Okay. And what happens is. We need, in order for our eye to read and see properly, this is the retina. It's, the retina is mostly made out of zeaxanthin and lutein, okay? And it's very popular. Like if you go to like a Watson's, you can always see uh, supplements that are high in lutein and high in zeaxanthin. However, when we, our body is depleted of zeaxanthin and lutein, we will have macular degeneration. And what will happen is when we see it, this is very clear. And what will happen is when we have macular degeneration, the center will start to become blur. Okay, it will become blurrer and blurrer. The interesting thing with our retina is that the surrounding is made from lutein. The central, the center area here is made from zeaxanthin. But it is very, very difficult to find food that is high in zeaxanthin. Okay, so this is the level of CS food high in zeaxanthin. Apparently, they have seen that orange tangerine, they all have a certain amount of zeaxanthin. And back in 2006, they found that red pepper has already the highest zeaxanthin level. But comparing to red pepper and Ningxia red, Ningxia red has, what, I don't know how many times, wow. maybe this is 10, maybe like 25, 30 times higher zeaxanthin level than red pepper. And it is very difficult to find food that is high in zeaxanthin. Okay. So it's very good for the eye. And that's probably why uh, our friend Jessica's son, when he went to get his eyes checked, the retina is better, is, uh, has improved in its quality, right? So this is really good. And that's probably why a lot of our friends said that once they started drinking Ninja Red, they don't need reading glasses anymore. And I'm 51, I don't need reading glasses. Like I can see like really small fonts. So, and then uh, this is another clinical study on the positive role for lutein and zeaxanthin and cognitive function of elderly. So not only can lutein and zeaxanthin help with eyesight, it can also help with the brain. So brain, eye, antioxidant, longevity, and this is interesting. This is actually a blood, live blood analysis that was done uh, before and after drinking in charret. So this is the before. And uh, if you look at if you look at red blood cells under the microscope, if these red blood cells are all sticking together, it means that the red blood cells do not have enough oxygen. So they're trying to take oxygens from each other. And after drinking in charret for fifteen minutes, the red blood cells actually breaks apart because it has enough oxygen. I actually did this test myself with Valor essential oil and I had the same results. It's pretty amazing. So it's also really good for circulation and giving our blood uh, oxygen. So blood circulation, okay. And Ningxia Red, not only does it have a lot of Ningxia uh, wolfberry puree, it has other juices. It has like, a, I'll, I'll talk about the juice, like cherry juice, and then um, uh, a celery juice, and also four types of essential oils. Gary Young chose these four types of essential oil because they are all very high in d lemonin And what does d lemonin do? Actually, uh, Angie just talked about d lemonin And what d lemonin does, it, it is very important for our liver health. And our liver is our detox filter. So what it does, it, it helps, uh, promote liver health and help our body detox. d -lemonin, actually this study shows the effect of d on hepatic microsomal 
this, okay. What this test actually says is d limonene helps our body, our liver make glutathione. So our body actually, the part of our body that makes glutathione is the liver. And you see this paracetamol, paracetamol induced glutathione. What this study did was they know that paracetamol, which is Panadol or Tylenol, okay? Paracetamol equals Tylenol, Panadol. What it does is it actually stops our liver from making glutathione. So people who have taken a lot of paracetamol or, um, or Tylenol or Panadol, their liver actually are not able to make glutathione as an antioxidant and a liver detox to do the liver detoxing, detoxification process. So what this study did was they took a bunch of mice and they force feed them paracetamol they force feed them until the liver cannot make glutathione anymore. And then they feed them d -limonin. And the liver start making glutathione again. So this study actually shows that even when your liver has stopped the ability of making glutathione, after taking d -limonin, it can recreate that ability. Which glutathione is very, very important for our immune system as an antioxidant and pr to protect our cells. So um, that's why it's one of the reasons why I really try people to tell them to stay away from uh, paracetamol. It's because of what it does to the liver. Okay. And another five benefits of glutathione. I got this from the internet. Liver health and, and prevent uh, liver fatty liver disease, supports healthy growth and repair every cell. And it may improve insulin sensitivity, which is a diabetic issue. Okay, it reduces oxidative stress levels and reduces inflammation and the risk of chronic diseases. So I just got this from the internet and it is about glutathione and it's not about wolfberry, ning sha red juice, okay? And so it also helps with our liver detox. And this, another study for um, d lemonin is for maintaining healthy cells. I got a bunch of studies from the internet on d -limonin. A lot of studies are done, you see there's d -limonin. it's all about maintaining healthy cells, okay? So they also help maintain our cells. And then d -limonin also helps with gastro health. It helps with um, protecting our uh, digestive system. So it's very good for the stomach. And it also helps reduce um, uh, uh, digestive system uh, inflammation. Okay, oops, sorry, oops. <laughs> okay, and then another study. Oh, the yuzu essential oil, okay? You know how we have the yuzu essential oil here? And the reason why we put yuzu essential oil in it it's because yushu essential oil in traditional Japanese wisdom is they use it for their immune and for their anti-inflammatory effects. So a winter yushu bath is something that Japanese people traditionally do. What it does is it helps with easing aches and relieving stress and soothing sore muscles. It's also really good for circulation and it's very good for the immune system. So yuzu bath is from the essential oil from the yuzu skin. And then this is also another study for um, checking the, in the Ningxia red juice, the antioxidant level and its immune system. This is actually a study done by Young Living. So it's super good also for the immune system, the Ningxia red juice. And here they've done some studies on the glycemic index, which is also, uh, the blood sugar level, the change in blood sugar level after intaking Ningxia Red. So as you can see, there's the control is drinking the glucose syrup in the blue line, and then the red line is drinking the Ningxia Red. So the glycemic index is 10. So it's very safe for uh, people with diabetics or are sensitive to blood sugar level. So even after drinking it, the blood sugar do not raise. And these are the people who have drank glucose water and the control. And these are the people who 
the same people who drink the ningxia red afterwards, okay? So this is another way to look at the results. After drinking glucose water, the blood sugar level shoot up, but after drinking ningxia red, the glucose level maintains. So it also helps with maintaining blood sugar levels. Oh, and the reason why I put no propylene glycol is, we didn't know that actually a lot of juices in the market have put propylene glycol in because propylene glycol is an antifreeze. And when you have to travel and uh, travel with uh, juices, a lot of times it freezes very easily. So people, a lot of companies actually put propylene glycol in. And any, according to labeling law, any ingredients that is less than 5%, you don't have to put it on the label. So on the market, a lot of tests have done have been done to show that juices and a lot of food have put um, propylene glycol in, but we tested Ning Xia Red and there's no growth propylene glycol in it, okay? So it's very safe. And aronia berry juice is also one of the ingredients in Ning Xia Red. It is very good for uh, uh, reducing abdominal obesity and it's also really good as an antioxidant. This is another study on wolfberry and weight management, and it decreases waist circumference in healthy, overweight men and women, okay? So this is another um, test done on the own employee and checking whether it's safe with the result of them drinking prolonged, after a prolonged period of time. And then they also did some tests on decreasing aches and pain and changes in energy. And then they also did some study on improving sleep and changing in weight loss. So they have seen that it can help with energy, it can help maintain blood sugar, it also helps maintain healthy weight. So people ask me, what is a good time to drink Ning Xia Red? I think every day we should be drinking two packs and the one of the time should be in the morning and then the other time is in the afternoon after lunch so that we can maintain that energy throughout the day. And as we said, we can drink one pack and add it into a glass of water, just like this. Gary said that it can alkalize the body. And as uh, Angie just now shared that it can also, if you add um, silver slime into it, it will also help with the skin and it also helps with the cells, keeping your cells healthy. And then we can also put it in ice popsicles and then add a bit of coconut water or distilled water and then add some essential oils and then you can make a popsicle for the summer. And it's really good. Some people like to add a bit of honey in it. And we can also add the, some essential oils in just like what Nita you're doing. You're adding some uh, citrus fresh or lime in, or you can add like cinnamon bark or peppermint to make it a little, give it a little kick. The first time I add some peppermint in and I, I really like it. And the Ningxia Red, actually this, Sirius also has a zinc, which is a soda, and the nitro, which is a small caffeine shot. It's very low in natural caffeine, but it's also an energy booster. So we, we like to add all three together. It's a really good energy boost for me for like six hours. What and is then the nitro? The nitro, yeah, the little tube. We get what it from the US. Yeah, it's like a little caffeine booster. I'm allergic to caffeine. But I'm okay with this because they put a uh, natural herbal, uh, it's like an herb that they put in. But okay. it's Ningxia based, is it? It's Sorry? Based it's based on Ningxia? Yes, yes. It oh. has wolfberry, isn't it? Yes. So here, this is a tube of nitro. Oh, okay. It's for fighting midday slump and it has essential oils. Oh, it has ginseng in it. That's why and then deribose, and then it has a lot of botanical uh, extract. This is good too. It's a little bit bitter, but it's very good. I have a lot of people who said that after drinking it, they feel like a big brain boost, like a brain booster. Mm -hmm. And then we can also have, a lot of people also like to make Ning Xia Red jellies. You put gelatin in it and then make little Ning Xia jellies for the kids. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it for today. <laughs> uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this photo. Like Young Living was doing this promotion and they asked all of us to take photos with an Ningxia Red and I came up with this idea. 
<laughs> nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So do you have any questions? Um, no, I think um, the main thing was only that people are always worried about the sugar level. And ah, don't worry about we it. just yeah. answered all the questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be nice to maybe we share more um, recipes on how to make different kinds of drinks. Yes, yes, yes. And we can share that on the in the group or on the Facebook. Yeah. yeah. If you Google, you find a lot of people having tried a lot of different things. Uh, yeah, they add it in. And uh, I also have people who love adding it to vodka, but I have to warn you because there's essential oils in Mingxia Red. And when you add it into vodka, you may get drunk faster than you, you would other drinks. Why is because that? It, because the essential oil help whatever that you're drinking goes into the blood faster. Okay. Oh, okay. It makes it more bioavailable. And that's why Young Living Supplement is more bioavailable because of the essential oils that is being put in. So if you're drinking it with alcohol, it makes the alcohol more bioavailable. So that's good. Then you drink less and you yes, put out your bottle further, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I also heard that Ning Sha Red is really good for hangover or when you're drinking. When you're feeling tipsy, you drink a pack of Ning Sha Red and then the tipsiness is like all gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's yeah, good. you can try that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I always have a pack of Ning Sha Red in the car one or two packs. So in case like I get tired or sleepy, then I'll drink uh, a, a pack. I actually usually cannot drink it after nine o'clock because it keeps me awake. But some people say that, oh, it helps them sleep better. So I think it really depends on the person. Actually, I've started drinking now because sometimes now that we're going out more, I, I don't get to drink it in the day, which I used to. I drink it at night, but uh, Harry and I both, uh, and we're sleeping in fact, better, but oh, good. I have a friend who actually told me that she took, she normally takes it around 8 39 and she doesn't have sleep issues and she's having sleep issues. So, yeah. um, is that, is that not in the imagination? It's, it, does it really affect your sleep? Yeah, it does. For me, if I drink it at nine, I'll be awake until two o'clock. Okay. Yeah. It's an energy booster for me. That's why I usually, the latest I drink it is 5 PM. Unless I know that I like, unless I have a, like a workshop at night, then I'll drink it at seven because I know I'll be sleeping late and I'll be using a lot of energy. So, so for the people who drank it and then keep them awake, have them drink it before 5 p.m. It's very normal because it's, it is an energy booster. Yeah, maybe I'm drinking it diluted. So therefore it doesn't affect yeah, me. Maybe. And, and I, I actually also think that um, the people who usually do not have enough sleep don't have actually sleep better with Ningxia Red. Yes. The people who have enough sleep will keep them awake after drinking Ningxia Red. Okay. Yeah, so I, I really think it depends on, and everybody's different, right? So it's okay. They just need to find out what's worked best for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I guess that's it for today. And yeah. we'll see you next time and we'll see what we'll talk about next time. Yeah, thanks, Joanne. Uh, yeah, we'll welcome. be posting this on Facebook. Yes, yes. And I'll put it on YouTube so that you can share it. Can it be public? Yes, it can be public. Okay, so I will post it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for guiding us all through this. It's valuable information that everybody wants to hear. Okay. Thank you for spending all the right. time for others for joining us. Thank you. Yes, bye -bye. see you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.